my name is Nathan and I am your host. So we're doing another run of The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Um, uh, apologies for being, oh, ridiculously late. I thought I was only about 15 minutes late, ends up by 45 minutes late. Do apologize for that. So we're this just going to actually be a short show. tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Ooh, this time I had a, a little bit extra information. All right. <clears throat> so for anybody who is uh, new to the stream, we're going to go ahead. Oh, geez, i got to remember exactly what buttons do what. Um, quests. Secondary quests. Yeah, so pretty much I am at Lilac and Gooseberries. All right, so this is the part where it's like I, you know, go to leave. Whoa, the, there, Roach! I go to leave the inn, and some guys pick a fight, and I have to, you know, kill people. And then the people at the inn are like, "Ah, oh, what Whoa. are you doing? You're evil!" Um. During the hungry gap. They take it all our oh, man. Yeah, another reason why I'm probably Freak. not going to make this very long today is uh, today I essentially was an emotional support animal for my daughter during her first karate lesson, her first full fledged karate lesson, and she didn't want to be up there alone. And so I had to do the lesson as well. Now, I didn't do like the whole thing. I wasn't sitting up there going there, hi -ya! or anything. I was just basically blocking the view of other parents. Move it! Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. To the lilies. Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Marian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't uh. fear it, you cunt! Is this medallion? 
You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. Far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs> this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. I will say I do appreciate that they didn't turn that into a quick time event. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, <coughs> with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. That felt a uh, little deja vu-y, sort of. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. <laughs> the gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceedings planned? Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. 
Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. There will be a point where I will be Ooh. killing him, I'm sure. Now the gentleman may dress. Like, that is, like, well, it looks like he got a good shave. Like, the fact that there's still shaving cream around his face is, like, annoying to me. Because that's not how shaving works. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay. So, here we have a choice. We can go kind of froofy, really froofy, or... Kind of froofy again, but with leather to make it kind of... Eh, so I'm just going to loot that one. Oh, that's right, I guess. Inventory. Equip. I have a shirt. I should just leave it as that. And just be like, it's a kilt! It's a new special kilt. We haven't invented tartans yet. <laughs> well, let's put on the boots. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just be like, hey, yo. I wonder if it'll let me. We're going to go with this and see. I believe the gentleman's forgetting something. What? It's a fucking kilt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I guess we get... Well, you know, this has butts and boobs and everything on it, so I guess I can swear. All right, fine. Fine, I'll put on pants. Your emperor likes pants, apparently. Pants are for losers. All right. Yeah, I'll loot this one, too. <laughs> Take those for the road. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. <laughs> the gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? Two hundred lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. It's like, I get those guys being pompous. The gentleman but... will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. 
I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. It's interesting, it's almost like they properly animated the step animation, which is kinda cool. In Grimmy et Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var emreis. Wow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. She is you will find child. her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, uh, yes. Oh, so connection. tell me why you are looking for her. I guess Doubt it's there's... about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. But enough breaches of etiquette for one day. Past noon. Calm yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the Second, Prince of Elan. Not only am I made to wait here like some supplement. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novika. And selfed them sick yard. Casper can do better than. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to. And this is basically to where I got before, so anything beyond this conversation, Geralt, I don't know. that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Ooh, the flame's still there. Now do you understand mm -hmm. why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm, and seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. 
Our little witch has grown into a young lady. <laughs> so they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. Ooh, chosen one. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. It's interesting. It's like they take Wolverine and, like, because he's essentially Wolverine. He's a blonde Wolverine. this Wolverine. means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. Ooh, I should be waiting. Alright. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go talk to this guy. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. 
The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring, there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then, Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching? Not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well. Avoid him. I have a feeling I'm going to kill him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. 
Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. My prediction, King Bran is actually a very smart and wise king who puts out the fact that he's feeble and old to keep them away and just kind of like, eh. So, that's my prediction, and I will be meeting King Bran. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Alrighty. I'm gonna go talk to Mr. Ambassador Man and get on the way to Velen. And then I'm going to end this episode because holy poopy, I am tired. It's been a long day. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. I had them in my pants. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. <laughs> the Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. All right. Oh, man, I have so much... So much. Okay, let's at least get out of the castle. And then we will end the scenario. Oh, poopy. I am Medetta. Estrat as a Novigrad. Yeah, uh. See you. Ah, uh, you don't know. No, I want to mm. play some Gwent. I'm gonna play some Gwent. And then and then we'll call it a day. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
I'll learn more and play more. Yeah, it goes inside to you too, bud. Continent view. Oh, okay, so there's White Orchard. World map. To open the map of given reason. Okay. Wow, so I've moved. So I have the world map now. See, this is. I haven't gotten this far. So this is where I need to go. Then Novigrad. And then Skellig. So basically, I'm. Bink, bink, bink. Okay. And, uh. The Hangman's Tree. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. I find it interesting that the art in these uh, in these catch-up interstitials make him look old, like really old. But in the like game itself, he just he looks fine, like he looks. Like, I don't want to say fine. <laughs> yes, he looks old or fine, you know. Um, he looks like he's 30, you know. Like, he looks like he's in his 30s. Where in the in the imagery, it looks like he's, like, late 50s, you know. It almost looks like uh, uh, Vesemir age. Oh, interesting. You can cut off a grave hag's tongue while counterattacking, so that way she can't poison you. That's a good life lesson, people. These are... Th this game is dropping the knowledge. You know, things you're gonna need to know. Something gross in three, two, one, go. <laughs> I timed that pretty good. Oof. I still have the Gryphon head. Okay, I'm gonna need to research why the Gryphon head is. Why do I still have the Gryphon head? Um, okay, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna save the game. Alright, so this is officially the point in the game where I have not. I, I don't know. I really, I really don't know what's going on. And, uh, and so, yeah, so from this point forward, this is all going to be new to me. So it's going to be exciting. So thank you very much for anybody who has joined us today. Um, uh, just to let you know that we are brought to you by listeners and viewers like you. We have a ton of ways you can support the channel. Um, and this is, and just for anybody who's not aware, this is Creativity in Progress Network, the CIP Network. We do a lot of different stuff. We do streaming. We do podcasts. We have a couple of podcasts. It's it's a it's a fun little place where we get to nerd out and have fun. Um, and uh, this this here, you have been watching CIP Behind the Curve, where one of the hosts or members of the CIP Network plays a video game uh, that they missed. So and that they didn't um, uh, that is an acclaimed video game that for some reason they didn't play before. And uh, and this is mine. This is Witcher. Uh, three wild hunt um, so just know that you can go to uh, the CIP network.com forward slash support and support us there you also can go to patreon.com uh, forward slash creativity and progress podcast and support us as there as well we have some new uh, rewards 
uh, for uh, for the uh, support tiers. So go ahead and check those out. Um, you can find me at NathanBadyVO.com. You can find more information at www.TheCIPNetwork.com. You can call me directly at 434-481-1787, and I can play it on the show. I think maybe I'm still trying to figure this out since I stream for my PS4. This isn't as flashy as some of my other shows, um, but I'm still working on that, and I wanted to have it figured out now, but uh, uh, but I didn't. But anyway, you can email me at nate at thecipnetwork.com. You can check us out on YouTube as well. This episode will be up on YouTube uh, probably on Friday. And uh, and yeah, and finally, uh, as I said, oh, you can support us directly, blah, blah, blah. Um, and uh, I didn't have any intro or outro music, so I can't really tell you about all that. Um, I did want to say, though, next week I might be on at 9 p.m. I do not know. Um, it is possible. Uh, the thing is, the very next morning, I am... Uh, I, I am going to be busy uh, the next day, and uh, and then I do not think, and I actually don't think I'm going to be doing. So it's actually probably going to be a two-week break for CIP behind the curve. So uh, so we're not going to be back for a little while, but we are going to be back. Um, uh, we just got a lot going on uh, with the network and everything, and and it's just the next couple Wednesdays I'm busy. I'm going to really try to do next week though, because I don't really like doing two weeks off. Um, so I'll really try to do next week, even if I do just a little bit, just because I'm in the new bits now, so I want to try it out. So, um, so anyways, thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.